Hello everyone, in this video I will show you that this KC868A4 board so that can use this Tuya application and this K-Box can work at the same time because uh, you can use this KCS new firmware downloaded to this ESP32 module so that you can use this Tuya application for internet remote country and use this K-Box in local network by Wi-Fi so that without internet, these two applications can work at the same time. So this will download the new firmware, will let you let your A4 board become very powerful. And in the last video, we have detailed extend the KCS firmware. And this time, I will take this A4 board, for example, just use the Wi-Fi, how to use the Wi-Fi, connect to your load, and how to use this Wi-Fi AP mode, use the K-Box directly. Okay, let's begin. And here you can see that is KCS that we have already made the video have explained it. Uh, this time you can download this KCS, KCS just by this ESP download tool. Uh, download for this link and you can download the firmware bin file from the King Kong form. So you can see here uh, this is King Kong form. You can download all ESP32 module from this web page. And now I have used the A4 board, so I downloaded this firmware. If you use another mod of the KC86A series board, you just download the corresponding firmware that be okay. Okay, after you download, you can see here is the download tool. Uh, just we can click and very fast to download to ESP32. You can see here we can choose the ESP32 because our A4 board use the ESP32 module and here you can see you can select use this icon select this A4 bin file and write begin uh, zero address and now you can let your board you can see here you can connect with the USB cable this is type C USB cable and connect to this my computer the USB port so you can see here I can just connect with it and here you can see uh, this is power for 12 volt uh, A4 used by the 12 volt now I can use this power on and you can see the red LED is on okay now we begin to download the firmware for this board so you can click this component, you can see that the auto detect comes through and click start. That's very easy. Now begin to download. Okay, now you can see this is finished. We can close this window and close. And you now you can let it re power on. You can power off and power on. And you can remove your USB Type-C cable because not need to use again. Okay, after our repower on, you can see this computer Wi-Fi signal. Uh, you can see that it displayed uh, that A4, uh, that is for HP mode. We can click and press this connect. Then your computer will connect to this A4 board directly. And use this IP address, just 4.1, this is fixed enter and you will uh, log in by the management web page and the username and the password is admin admin so that you can log in so now we have log in by the a4 board and the first time you can see the board because it's new so this is you need to set the utc so you can see here because i have not connected with the internet so that is not updated the data and time uh, from the internet data time so you can see here the system, you can firstly set to UTC8 and press save and the board will restart. Okay, we can see this protocol. If you want to use the K-Box, you can see here, we just need to enable the TCP server because the K-Box is work with the TCP server. And the local port, you can press any port. Now I have pressed this 4196 and you can press save and press OK.
and you can see the monitor and the TCP server is working okay now I will show you how to use this mobile phone and connect to this AP mode the Wi-Fi mode directly so without load that can use this Kbox application controlling this relay directly so you can see I can use the Wi-Fi and connect to this A4 board the A4 board is no password because mainly used for config and now I can click Kbox and press add device and the IP address that is fixed on 4.1 and the port we have set that is 4196 and this is relay and the channel is 4 channel so you can press this save and here you can see that have list 4 channel you can see here I can turn on relay 1, relay 2, relay 3, relay 4 so this time I can use this key box and uh, control this relay on and off directly so you can also rename and press edit that uh, you want to this light the light and you can choose this icon for different icon and then for lamp and the click mode or touch mode if you use this click mode you can see I can turn on and off and hold on you can edit if you want to change another work mode this change click to touch mode uh, this is touch mode so that you can press down you can see the icon is changed and this is a click and this is a touch just a touch release touch release so this can contain this cotton motor so you can see touch and remove that will very fast so this is use the Wi-Fi and the AP mode I connect to your K-Box directly okay next we will look at how to let this Wi-Fi module connect to the internet and connect to your load okay we can go to the network and here we can set to STA mode so that we can use the internet because I will show you how to use the Tuya application the Tuya application will use the card server so this is my load and click save save and wait for a moment that will be restart okay because the AP mode is, uh, is infective so this time we can let my computer and connect to my load and then I can open this scan device tool you can see here I have used the Wi-Fi of the computer this is my computer network card and the computer IP address click and the start monitor port and the scan you can see here that is list find out the A4 board by Wi-Fi at this IP address so now I should use this IP address to login and here the username and the password login and now you can see uh, this is IP, STA IP that have showed and because A4 board no Ethernet so this sections is no not and the board time you can see here that is auto update uh, to this date and time from the internet because I have connected to the load so that have the internet have set this time okay now we can see here that the generally have the TCP server we have already running but this time we should change the key box to this IP address so you can see here if you use the key box now you can see not working because the IP is changed so I need to delete delete it and add a device input the IP this is the new IP of this board And the port also is 4196 and the model 4 channel and press save and here you can see I can control this on and off again so this have let your mobile phone connect to the router and this is connected router so this can work with the K box by the STA mode okay next I will show you how to use this 
to your application that is smart life application let's begin if you want to use the Tuya application for a full board, also it's very easy. We just click this Tuya sections. That you need to enable the Tuya. But this time you should buy this Tuya lessons. You can see here that is Tuya lessons from Kinkoni. So almost very cheap price, and you can use this lessons always. Uh, no time limit, no date limit. We always can be used. If you have interesting, you can contact with us. And we will sell you these lessons to your lessons. So you just copy and paste this product ID and the device ID and the device secret. So you can see here, because I'm in China, the ID is in China. So the lessons I use by the China. If you have you in your repo or in your USA, so we can sell you different lessons for different uh, range. So you can see here, I just copy and paste, and here is the URL, and just save. Restart, wait for a moment, and now you can see this QR code is auto-generate for your application. So now, uh, let's use this mobile phone. Because this is A8S board, last video we have created. If you want to add another board, you just press this add and add a device and scan this QR code. And now you can see I can use my mobile phone to scan this QR code. Okay, you can see that A4 board have added successfully. So now you can see this board, A4 board. Click down and you can see will open this page and you can see here I can click that relay one on, 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 on. this four relay is on this time I can use this by Wi-Fi or by 4G, 3G or 5G so that can remote control by internet I can click all off and this is all on and also you can see the input state if you shut this input uh, for ground that will be turn green so you can see, I can use this cable, and this is ground, this A4 is ground, and this is input 1. So you can see, the, the icon is become green, and this input 1 is triangled. So this is the input, and here you can see that have the analog, analog input, and the DAC, that is output 0 to 10 volt. So you can see if I change this uh, plus bar, that the DAC will output 0 to 10 volt. That can use for dimmer or change motor speed. And also this is the second channel of the DAC uh, you can use remotely. And also you can click, uh, you can set the DAC name and the max value and the mini value and the, the unit. So you can see I can input this percent save and you can see uh, that is changed and also you can change every channel of the analog input so you can click this icon change the name and the mini and the max and the unit so that according to your sensor so you can change every settings and also you can change this input input name so you just you can hold on you can change this name just such as the door sensor I can click see so you can see here that will be changed the name and also if you want to change the relay name so that click the output and the hold down that can change the output name uh, such as light light and press C and you can see the light is changed rename so you can rename every item and it will be easy to remember which relay is which name so you can see i can use this to yeah for remote control the, by the internet if internet is broken so i can change use switch to my key box you can see the state is update uh, three four and uh, change to to yeah you can see state update and close 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 
close, close. And here you can see that the key box also is update. So this can use in local network without internet, and this two yeah can work remotely. So you can use two applications at the same time so that you can go to go home or go out of your home, go to office uh, on the way. So all anytime you can use your mobile phone country this A4 board. Okay, that is how to use this paybox and the Tuya with the A4 board. Thanks for watching.